Gustavo Neri with AV Boxing News here with Eddie Hearn, the Beacon Theater for the press conference, Joshua Ruiz. How's everything, Eddie? Everything's great. We're absolutely loving Fight Week. Um, I mean, it's just been an incredible experience so far for AJ, for us, for the, for the broadcasters, for the fans. And this is the final press conference, so they'll actually come face to face for the first time today. Obviously, you're going to see a big size difference. Uh, Ruiz is like 6'2", AJ 6'6". So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see the looks in their eyes when they come together. And we've just got two days to go to weigh in now. Tomorrow, uh, on the scales around 3.30. It's going to be madness in there with Brits. So don't miss it. I didn't know you had your own podcast, Eddie. Tell us a little bit about it. It came out of nowhere. What happened was, um, it's the BBC, the, the biggest broadcaster in the UK. They also have radio, online, iPlayer. And I was going to do a boxing podcast, just boxing. And I started talking to someone at the BBC and they said, look, We'd like to get behind this. Could we do boxing, but also a bit of business, a bit of lifestyle, sort of mentality stuff? So I was like, yeah. So we reached out to a couple of really high-profile guys. Wayne Rooney was England captain for a long time, probably the biggest sports star in the UK. KSI, who is the biggest YouTuber in the world, 27 million YouTube subscribers. Sat down, we kicked it off yesterday, went straight to number one, baby. So, yeah, no, look, I'd, it's weird because I spend my life being interviewed. And it's actually quite easy answering questions. So I have respect for you guys because in these podcasts, I'm actually answering, asking questions and I'm trying to get into the minds of these people. So, which is great because I'm fans of these people and a lot of them are legends. So it's, it's great. Yeah, it's off to a good start. You know, I, was, I wasn't uh, unfortunate to make it for yesterday's event. I wanted to get to uh, reactions. Fury's already saying he doesn't want to fight no more. Like, what? It's so confusing. They want to fight. They, I mean, the only one who wants to fight. Yeah, cool. And then, I mean, it would be a massive opportunity for him. Look, Fury's a great fighter. You know, I mean, it's, it's a big fight. But when he came out and said, just to let the world know, I accept the challenge of the WBC diamond belt against Dillian White. It's on. Let me deal with Schwartz. And this fight is happening. So we went back to WBC and go, please order that, which they're going to do. And I've just alerted people they're going to do it. And he's come out and said, no, nah, I ain't fighting Dillian White. <laughs> so do you feel like... Fury and, and Wilder just are they stealing some spotlight because you know Wilder announced this week he's fighting Ortiz then Fury says oh I'm not fighting White like he's calling him a bum so you feel like they're just trying to take that spotlight from Joshua knowing that's a big no, I think I think uh, Wilder's been trying to take the spotlight for Joshua for a long time but Wilder's used Joshua's name for over a year to raise his profile he's done a great job I would have done the same thing I don't blame him for that um, and Joshua's realizing that now and he's getting a little bit pissed off that this keeps happening so Fury, I just think you just don't know what he's going to do. You can't take anything he says, really, as gospel. So, you know, we'll see. Well, what I do know is Dillian White's fighting Oscar Rivas and um, Joshua's fighting Andy Ruiz, and that's what we've got to deal with. I will give you credit because um, for, for many reasons, we, many fans would never expect yourself and PBC to work together. You know, Andy Ruiz is with Al Heyman. I know that. His people should be. I think I've seen some of his people in this press conference right now. So that's a good sign that you guys are willing to work together. Doesn't matter about the neck. We're like, what do you have to say about that? Knowing that you're willing to work with anybody. It's such a massive opportunity for Andy Reid. I can't imagine how I would deny him that opportunity. You know, he's not one of the flagship sort of pay-per-view stars, which obviously that's another kettle of fish. But you know, it's good that they've let him accept this opportunity. And you know, I've I've done deals with our Heyman side for a long time, and they've all been pretty straightforward and easy. Just some are more difficult than others, that's all. Is, is this pressure, not the pressure, but how, how do you rank this event overall? Because I know you've done a lot of and other sides upon British boxing events. Like, where do you rank this event particularly to all? I mean, for me, this is probably the biggest show we've ever done because of the fact we brought it to America. So we'll have a sellout in there of whatever it is, 19 and a half, 20,000. The atmosphere will be incredible. You know, we've done bigger shows, like in terms of nine. 90,000 90, and all sorts, and uh, this is right up there. I know you got to do something real quick. Um, Josh Kelly, yeah. real impressive kid. He's making, you know, he's going to fight at the Garden. He's on the zone well, you know, through you, it's the zone. Virgil Ortiz on the zone. That's a good fight. That fight, same yeah. weight class. That's something you would like to do. Well, well, actually, uh, you know, he's a welterweight, Josh Kelly, under 47 pounds, and uh, he's a great talent. He has a tough fight against Ray Robinson on Saturday. It's going to be a big test, and we're going to find out what he's all about come Saturday night. All right, thank you, Eddie. We're going to let you go.